my dear brothers and sisters, I like to make suggestions for you on the personal ways through which I try to manage my anger. If you manage your anger very well, you will see that it's a beautiful energy. As I said, and as you know, Jesus got angry, but he used his anger to do something good. It is natural to be angry. When the adrenaline mixes up with the bile, which is biological, it produces what we call emergency hormone. That emergency hormone is what makes us to react. But St. Paul tells us in Ephesians that we should not allow our anger to lead us into sin. And he says, the sunset must not find you still angry. So if you got angry in the morning, try to manage your anger so that you don't sleep over it. If you sleep over it, it becomes malice, it becomes rage, it becomes rot, it becomes resentment, it becomes bitterness. I'm going to mention eight ways that can help us to overcome and to manage our anger. The first one is self-knowledge. Get to know yourself so that you get to know when to leave, when to withdraw from a certain situation. If you know your strength and you know your weakness, you'll be able to walk away at the right time. If you walk away at the right time, you will not get into rot or rage or resentment or bitterness or malice. That's number one, self-knowledge. The second one is to go to confession, sacramental confession. The more you go to confession, the more you get connected to God, the more you reconcile with God, the more you have peace of mind, the more you have this joy in you, the more you have this gladness in you that will overcome whatever, you know, uh, you know anger that is in your heart. The sacramental confession has a way of you know, diluting the anger in us. Number three is through meditation. We are so busy, no? B-U-S-Y, being under satanic yoke. If we can find time to meditate, pick a passage in the Bible. Pick a passage in the Bible. Read it. One minute. Let it be your mantra. God is merciful. God loves me. Pick a verse, pick a passage, pick a sentence, whatever that is, that is good for you. Pick it, reflect on it. Find like 30 minutes every day to reflect on the Word of God. We have 24 hours. It is not too much if we take out 30 minutes to reflect because if we are able to reflect, we'll be able to navigate and manage every time that we encounter situations and people that make us angry. If we have a reflective mind, we will be able to have self-control. We have control over the dynamics of our bodies. Number three is for us to, you know, note the times. Remember the times you have hurt other people. Because sometimes we get angry, we get irritated as if we never caused other people some pains. So try to have introspection, try to go back to yourself and remember the times you have hurt other people. I am sure you have hurt other people. Remember the times you hurt them. How did they react? Did they kill you? Why should you write down the sins of other people? Many of us keep records of other people's sins, but we forget that we are also guilty of the same thing. Number five is try to pray your rosary. If somebody makes you angry, don't respond. Pick up your rosary. Pick up your rosary. Say your rosary. Before you finish that rosary, I tell you, you know, that, that, that feeling you have may have gone away. Our Blessed Mother Mary has a way of diluting, you know, the hotness of your anger. Before you finish this rosary for 15 to 20 minutes, ah, you'll be a better person. Pick up your rosary today. Say the rosary. Number six is go and kneel down before the Blessed Sacrament. 
Find time to spend time before the blessed sacrament. You will be a changed person. The things that make other people angry will never make you angry anymore. Jesus brings healing to our emotions, our thoughts, our feelings in the blessed sacrament. If you cannot help it, number six, if you can't help it anymore, please look for a spiritual director. Your spiritual director will guide you, okay? Or look for professional help, but especially spiritual director. Get a priest, get a, a, a nun to help you. The sixth or the seventh one is that we should, uh, how do you do say that? Try to work on your expectations. Many of us get irritated. Many of us get angry because we have a lot of, you know, inordinate expectations. Try not to expect so much from people because you're going to get hurt. Okay? So, these are the things I wanted to share with you, dear brothers and sisters. And, um, you know, I hope that uh, this can help us to manage our anger. But I tell you, the more prayerful you are, the more you'll be able to manage your anger. But I, anger is not, you know, uh, totally a sin. But what we say, what we do when we get angry, that's what makes it sinful. Control your rage. If somebody says something to you or do something to you that you don't like, don't respond. Find time for dialogue. Find time for dialogue. Don't just respond just like that because... You are going to say something that you would not like to listen to later on. God bless you.